Wow. <laughs> I don't have much shrinkage on my hair. My hair is actually just pretty loose and wavy, but still, friend, you can tell that this side is nice and straight and full, and this side still needs to be blown out. Hey, what's up, y'all? And welcome back to another video of As Always Aaliyah, where we always keep it real. Now, y'all, I had a new hair tool sent to me in the mail today, and we're gonna be reviewing it in this video. All right, y'all, as you have seen by the title of this video, this is a blow dryer, and this is by Tymo. And this is what it looks like. I love the packaging, so we're gonna be doing an unboxing, and we'll actually be using this product on camera so I can give you guys my honest feedback. All right, so like I said, the packaging is so beautiful. I actually don't wanna open it up. It's really, really pretty. It has like this metallic color on there, and it's perfect on the light too. But we're just gonna go ahead and open it up the best way I can okay all right y'all so i had to like rip this bad boy open but here we go this is what it looks like right here like i said i'm trying not to blind you guys because it has like this metallic look on here but let's go ahead and continue to unbox it i'm so excited to use it today i suck at unboxing stuff i have no idea how to open it okay i figured it out <laughs> so you guys can see it first we're gonna just grab it from the bottom and here is how it looks I'm going to take this off. Wow. So it is covered, y'all. The first thing I see here. Okay, so this is the first thing we are pulling out. This was on top. We'll open that in one second. And of course, we have the manual here as well. And then this is what the actual blow dryer looks like. Cool. So it looks like it comes with three different attachments. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. And we'll take a look and we'll get a closer look at it. But before I do, so this just looks like a bag that you store the air dryer, the blow dryer in. Let me open this up. Ooh, I love how it feels. Yeah, so this, look like, this looks like a storage bag. And this is cute. Okay, there's like a pocket in there. You guys probably won't be able to really see that, but there is a pocket in here right there. And once you are done using the blow dryer, you can just store it away and make sure that it's um, stored away in safekeeping. So this is awesome. So here is the first attachment piece right here. And this is going to be great for diffusing your hair. Here we go, y'all. That is beautiful. And there's something back here. I'm not sure what this does. But we're going to find out because we're going to read that manual for sure. All right, the next attachment I'm pulling out is the one that I'm most likely going to be using. And this one is to rake the blow dryer through your hair to help get it dry. This is like a comb attachment. Awesome. That's the one I'm most likely going to be using. And then last but not least, you have this one as well. This is your third attachment. And here's how it looks, y'all all right pretty cool stuff so those are all three of the attachments okay so the first one that i pulled up is the adjustable diffuser the second one that i showed you guys is called the the comb nozzle and then the last one that i showed you guys is called the smoothing nozzle and it's right here in the manual i'm just reading it off so let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of this video and that's the actual blow dryer just gonna go ahead and take this out i'm actually surprised at how compact it is it's pretty small all right so here is the meat and potatoes here's the actual blow dryer guys i'm actually surprised at how small the blow dryer is but that's great for those who don't have a lot of area to store their hair tools away like me i'm like running out of space so i need those small hair tools to um go ahead and make use in storage so i'm going to go ahead and just take this little plastic guy off Alrighty, I'm just going to take this piece off right here, and then we're going to also take this plastic piece off back here, and all of this is supposed to be digital. We'll see that once we turn it on, but there is an on-off. Yeah, this looks like the on-off button back here, and we have two additional buttons at the top, and those look like it says airflow and temperature so we'll be getting into that as well but this is how the actual dryer looks it's small 
it fits in my hand and I like that I will be able to easily store this away and it is branded with the Timo if you guys can read that right there and here's how the cord looks as well all you have to do is plug it in and it should work so let me actually quickly read over the directions before we turn it on <laughs> alright y'all so I just read over the directions and it looks like there are temperature settings and airflow settings on the Timo blow dryer so it does have a room temperature setting or a cool shot setting and that's the first one it also has a low setting at 140 degrees Fahrenheit a medium setting at 180 degrees Fahrenheit and there's also a high setting at 210 degrees Fahrenheit I like that because you can figure out what setting you want to have it set at that's going to help you blow dry your hair we'll most likely keep it at room temperature or low uh, but we'll see and then there's also an airflow setting as well you can have it at fast and medium or gentle all right so let me go ahead and show you guys my hair and then we'll go ahead and jump into setting up the blow dryer and getting started cool all right so let me take it off I actually just got out the shower not too long ago it's really important if you are st using a blow dryer that you're starting on clean hair guys all righty so my hair is fresh out the shower look at that guys all I have is a leave-in conditioner in my hair. It's actually from Ottawa Beauty. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. So here is the hair. This is how we are looking. I'm going to go ahead and start to part my hair. And then this way I'll be able to easily use the blow dryer through uh, this already sectioned out sections. If that makes sense. Alright, so I don't need it to look fancy whatsoever. I just need to break it down in half. And then what I'm going to do is break it down into a front half and a back half and the front half I'm going to break that down again we'll have this first section right here all I'm going to do is band to knot that up and out the way I love having my sections pre-sectioned if that makes any sense whatsoever so by pre-sectioning your hair it's just going to make it flow a lot easier so you don't have to like stop and section out your hair I like to do this at the beginning. All right, y'all, cool beans. So I have all of my sections. There's five of them, and I have one that is actually ready to go. I am going to take this half of my hair and just pop it up and out the way. This way, everything stays pretty moisturized as we are working on the other side. All right, y'all, so my hair is already ready to go. <laughs> now I am working on plugging it in. All I'm going to do is just take this, I guess this is called Velcro off and this is going to release the cord and now I can plug it in <laughs> all right y'all so it is all plugged in and ready to go first thing I'm going to do is put the attachment on to the blow dryer so I'm taking the one that I'm going to be using is the comb because it's going to easily help get my hair oh did y'all see that how did I do that okay so it seems like it has some type of like magnetic force because it just like popped on there do you guys see that and it's a little bit hard to get off. Like, you got to give it some strength to pull it off. Wow. So it's like a magnetic force. And it is easy to turn as well. So if you want to use it this way or if you want to use it this way, you can. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on so I can see what it looks like. You guys might not be able to hear me. So hold on. Okay, now that I had the chance to kind of play around with the buttons, I do understand it. So there's three settings on the back right here. If you have it pushed all the way down, that's off. If you push it towards the middle, that means that the heat is on. And if you push it all the way up, that means that the room temperature cool setting is on. I'm going to go ahead and keep it in the middle so we can have some heat. As you can see, it does say off. It might be a little bit hard for you guys to read and in the front you're able to control the heat setting and also the airflow as well I'm gonna keep my airflow on high and I'm gonna keep my heat or the temperature on medium low um, as we are trying to get through this style so without further ado let's go ahead and start to blow dry my hair you guys are not gonna be able to hear me so just watch and see Wow. <laughs> Okay, so it was started. I only had it on medium, and medium again is I think 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I should have put it on low because it was a little hot, friend. It was a little hot. 
all right y'all this thing definitely does work as you can see in less than a minute i got that section right there pretty straight so that is awesome it's nice and blown out it definitely is dry so that's cool i like that and i had it on the medium setting all right friend all right cool beans all right so i'm debating if i should band to knot this up and out the way so i'm most likely gonna do we're just gonna go ahead and twist it and then this way we can stay organized with our sections <laughs> and then i'm gonna unclip this one put that there and now i know i am on the back section again and i think it's nice because i only have five sections so it's gonna go by pretty fast and i'm gonna go ahead and start that whole process over again i am gonna go ahead and keep it on medium because it did good for me and i have the airflow on high um the higher the airflow the quicker you're going to be able to get through this process all right y'all so i am turning it back on I would love to see somebody use this on high because a medium is like perfect for me. It's a, it's a bit warm, but it's nothing that I can't handle. And I have the airflow on high, however, just so I can get through this hairstyle a little bit quicker. So here you go, y'all. My hair is straight. We're going to go ahead and add the pieces that I have to get there. All right, y'all. So I'm just going to go ahead and rake my hands through my hair. And it's really soft and it's dry. Okay, work it out. Work it out. It's cool beans. All right, so instead of me putting the Bantu knots and I'm just going to go ahead and leave that back section alone. And we're going to go ahead and take the next section out and continue to work up our hair. But so far, I really am liking this blow dryer. It's getting, I'm able to get through quickly. And I want you guys to have your sections pre-sectioned off. And this way you can go ahead and just take down your next section and go as you can see this section is wet freshly out the shower we're still a little bit curly and we're gonna go ahead and get it nice and straight All right, y'all, so the back section is all done. That's how we're looking back there. Cool, nice and full and thick and healthy hair. So the time out is definitely doing their thing, y'all. I like that I'm able to turn it on and off with ease. I definitely recommend, again, having your sections already pre-sectioned so you can kind of just rock through this hairstyle. But this is nice. I really like it. My hair is soft. This blow dryer is definitely getting the job done. So let me keep going. I'm actually already in the front. I have three sections down and I have two more sections to go. So here's a comparison. This is the straight hair and this is about to be the next section right here. As you guys can see, this section is a little bit longer. My hair doesn't have much shrinkage to it, so it's not going to stretch that much farther out. But you can see this is all straight and this is just a little bit poofy. So we're going to get that together right now. All right, friends, so we have that section all completed. Wow. It's taking me anywhere between a minute and 30 to two minutes per section, which is really good. I am impressed. Oh my goodness, and my hair is just really straight. And I just love how thick it is. Like, this is, this is nice, friend. You better, you better go get you one of these. You better go get you one of these. <laughs> I'll have all of the information linked below so you guys can actually check it out if you are in the market for a new blow dryer but i am finally on my last section that didn't take long whatsoever so let's go ahead and pull it down now i really could make this into two sections if i wanted to but i think i think that this blow dryer can handle it so this is going to be my biggest section it's probably going to take me um somewhere between three to three and a half minutes since we're doubling the hair in this section but that is okay let's go ahead and get started i'm just going to pop everything else that we're not using up and out the way i'm actually going to go ahead and clip it and then we will start right here Woo! 
all right friends wow so let me go ahead and unclip my hair back here and now you guys can see the full results look at that okay we are here for it i love 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 my hair and i love the results from the timeo it just made it effortless for me to do my hair so the only thing i will say i guess that's a con is when i was blow drying my hair i found myself holding it up here where i was actually covering these buttons and sometimes I would accidentally hit one of these buttons and uh, accidentally change the airflow or the temperature so I just had to readjust really quickly and be cautious that I need to grab it more so at the bottom so I'm not covering the buttons and accidentally changing the settings so that was like the only thing that I found even sl like slightly just like the smallest thing if I can make any type of the any type of con that I would have on this blow dryer because really it's all pros over here but I I did find it hard when I was um, placing my hand in the wrong way because I was like up here with it I was accidentally pressing these buttons so just make sure you're holding it more so down here which honestly is more comfortable if you hold it more down here I don't know why I was holding it up here don't ask me friend don't ask me I don't know but hold it down here so you're not changing the settings on the blow dryer as you're trying to rake it through your hair Ooh, all right y'all so there's the friend we are all done with this side nice and blown out ready for the world <laughs> i should say and i'll show you guys a side by side comparison of what my hair looks freshly out the shower and this is just has a leave-in versus blow dry and as you guys can see i don't have much shrinkage on my hair my hair is actually just pretty loose and wavy but still friend you can tell that this side is nice and straight and full and this side still needs to be blown out here are the two sides so you guys can compare from finished to not finished <laughs> this is how we are looking y'all okay so what i'm gonna actually do is i'm gonna get this side done off camera guys i will be right back hey y'all all right so i just finished below drying the other side and as you can see these are my final results from using the timo blow dryer again guys this is called the air hype timo blow dryer and if you guys are in need of a blow dryer i would definitely recommend checking this out i am going to have it linked below with more information so you guys can see and yeah i love my results i like that it's easy to hold in your hand make sure you're cautious of where you are holding it and that your hand is more geared towards the bottom of the blow dryer so you're not messing with the settings up here and other than that I loved it I can't wait to use the rest of the attachments the next time I do a wash and go I will be diffusing with this right here so I'm really excited but overall like I like my results I like that it was easy to use and that it got the job done quickly as well I love that you can control the settings on here so you can make it as hot or as cool as you want it to be because there are cool settings as well and you can also control the airflow too I promise you I didn't touch anything and it just started counting down from six the, the blow dryer was a little bit hot so I think it went ahead and gave itself like a cool down it actually kind of scared me I'm like wait it's off why is it still blowing but I think that's to cool the blow dryer down because it was only cold air coming out but that like scared me a little bit y'all like what happened right there but it's okay we figured it out so yeah I think it went ahead and cooled itself down so there is a lot of technology behind the air hype and again if you guys want more information about it you can definitely check it out below I'm so happy that you guys watched the full video and again my name is Aaliyah go ahead and subscribe to my channel I do all types of natural hair care content and I'm actually about to go ahead and give myself a nice little style in the next video so if you guys want to see that just stay tuned but guys thank you again so much for tuning in my name is Aaliyah this is as always Aaliyah where we always keep it real I'll catch you guys in the next one deuces